Shalom Shalom from a place called Engedi. Engedi is a place of oasis. We're walking up this trail that leads to the third or final waterfall here. It's a wonderful place, a hot place, and yet with plentiful water, it's a place to cool off. This is the reason why David was here in 1 Samuel chapter 24. King Saul was pursuing him. And it's a remarkable story of how David had a chance to kill Saul as he went in to literally relieve himself in a cave. We don't know what cave it was here. But David exercised restraint and obedience to God in this place called En Gedi. 1 Samuel 24 is the story that mentions the entire narrative involving David and King Saul. Even to walk through what appears and feels to be a tunnel, it's simply grasses above us making a tunnel-like pathway that leads to more water. Giddy is a place where water is abundant even in the summer months here in Israel. Arriving at this third and final waterfall here at Engedi, we're amazed that even in the hot summer months here in Israel, water is still flowing, providing this dry and weary land with water. So here at En Gedi, we're reminded that God invites us to seek after Him like a deer pants for water, knowing that refreshment to our souls only comes when we seek after the living water, that is Jesus. En Gedi teaches this lesson for us as we understand that the site survived, it existed here, only because it was an oasis to those around in this dry and weary land. Find refreshment for your soul as you seek after the living water.